International Ambassador for Oster Professional Products in conjunction with Jatai International. And today we're going to perform a pompadour haircut on our model JP here and we're just going to give you some ins and outs and some basic tips on how to perform this haircut with clippers, shears, and razors. We're going to start with our clippers using our largest blade working our way to our smallest blades around the sides and back. Then we're going to incorporate the top using shears and after we use our shears to incorporate the top and blend them with the sides and the top, we're going to use our trimmer to outline his edges, his side lines, and his neckline. Then we're going to come back with our razor to really clean it up and define it with our razor, our feather razor. All right, we are ready to begin our pompadour haircut on our model JP. As we have begun our haircut, I've started with our largest blade as I mentioned, and the largest blade we have in this system for the Classic 76 is a three and three quarter blade. It's gonna leave the hair about 13 millimeters long. A little more than a half inch here. And I'm going right up against the grain, the opposite way the hair is growing. When you use your largest blade working your way down to your smallest blade, you can get down to the desired length that you want and you can stop at any point. If you use your smallest blade to your largest blade, depending on which blade you start with, that's going to be the length that you are faced with regardless. Now I just snapped on my three and a half blade. I started with a three and three quarter blade. And I'm using a three and a half blade which is gonna leave the hair about 9.5 mill millimeters. And I'm using different blade sizes so we can create a nice fade and or taper. Using your largest blade to your smallest blade, I call it my stair step method. And this method of fading and tapering hair is very easy and very simple. If you use your largest blade, then the next one below that, and the one below that, and the one below that, it's an easy way to fade or taper hair without creating major lines of demarcation. Lines of demarcation are very difficult for a lot of novice and beginners to get those lines out of haircuts. So this way, this method is very simple and very easy to create a really nice taper or fade without having extra work on your particular hairstyle or haircut. And we're still going against the grain, the opposite way the hair grows. And you'll see the hair taper right in front of you once you get down to your second or third blade. Okay, that's a three and a half. Now we're gonna work our way. We're gonna snap on our number two blade. Every time you start a new blade, you wanna go right back to your starting point, which is in the back, and just come right up against the grain, following the same pattern that you have started with the previous blade. Just follow the same exact pattern. You 
may have a desired length you want to get to and when you get to that point you can stop. If not, if you want to go all the way down to zero or bald fade, then when you get to that point you stop. But using this method, you can find discovery using this method, using your largest blade to your smallest. You may think you want to go to a zero, but you may get down to a size, let's say 1A or 1, and then you may want to stop there because that could be the desired look that you're actually looking for. Because some blades cut certain clients and certain hair types closer than other blades. And using blades opposed to plastic comb guides, you're going to get a much truer cut using blades because hair filters through metal a lot better than it does plastic. So your plastic comb guides are usually going to leave the hair a little bit longer than a metal blade. Okay, that's a number two blade that we've just used. We've gone through three blade sizes so far. A three and three quarters, a three and a half, and this is the number two. So we're gonna go down one more blade size right now. We're gonna go down to our one and a half right now. This is our one and a half. It's gonna leave the hair about four millimeters long. Right back to our starting point. Keeping our Jatai comb in our hand, our Jatai cutting comb, to comb the excess hair out of the way. And following the same pattern, right up against the grain. And each time I snap on a new blade and follow the same pattern, I actually stay a little bit lower than the other blade that I've previously used. Which helps you create a nice taper. If I take this blade size all the way up here, then I'll start to create those lines of demarcation that we don't want to put in the hair so we don't have to get them out. There's nothing wrong with lines of demarcation, you just have to be well versed on fading those lines of demarcation out. Anytime you're using a heavy duty clipper, you want to make sure and move those ears out of the way. You don't want that cutting blade to touch the soft tissue of that ear. These are very strong clippers. You want to be very, very careful. Make sure and always check with your model to make sure your model and or your client is comfortable. Are you comfortable down there? I am. Excellent. And you can see the hair tapering right in front of your eyes. We've gone through four blades so far. Three and three quarters, three and a half, a number two, and now a one and a half right in this area. And you should see a nice little blend taper going on. Just developing right in front of your eyes. With this particular method, someone that does not know how to cut hair can cut hair using this stair step method. Very simple, very easy to use. As long as the blades are in order, the haircut will fade or taper right in front of your eyes. Okay, we're going to go down to is a 1A blade. 1A. Back to my starting point, which is right back here in the back. Using my Jatai comb to comb all the excess hair out of the way. and coming right the opposite way with the clipper blade, right up against the grain. The 
As I mentioned before, make sure to move those ears out of the way. Just angle your blade just a little bit around that ear. And you can see that hair just tapering out really nicely. Now we're going to use one more blade. We're going to go down one more size here. We're going to go down to our number one size blade. And I believe this is the blade size that I'm going to stop on, our number one size. Back to my starting point. Every time you snap on a new blade, go right back to your starting point. This is the number one blade. And we're really going to taper that hair out right down there at the bottom. We're really going to clean that up. Staying very close to the bottom around that ear area. We don't want to raise that line or create a line of demarcation. We create a really nice taper so far. We don't want to undo what we've already done. And pull that skin tight to make sure that blade can lift those hairs. Make sure you can stand those hairs up as much as possible. And let that blade come through and trim those hairs down. Now we're going to do the same thing for the opposite side. What you do on one side, you want to do on the opposite side. 